My two best friends and me. Traveling through the western steppes has a way of making one feel very alone. In these often harsh conditions, one must learn to live off the land. Like the peaceful nomadic tribes that move with the seasons in search of fresh pasture. Fellow travelers! are treated with hospitality and kindness. Whoa. Are you okay, Marco? You look a little weird. Yeah, I'm okay, fine. Just a little tired. Oh, good. I need a break, too. My butt is sore from riding. Hey, can we take a break? My friend's feeling a little dizzy. I wish that we could, but we really must continue onwards to our next scheduled campsite. <sighs> Marco? Marco! We're stopping for a break. I'm fine, guys. We'll keep going. Be sure to catch up before nightfall. It will be too dangerous to travel then. Maybe it was something I ate. I mean, yesterday in the caravansary, Luigi gave you some of his salad. Or maybe it was the water you drank. Or the pond you jumped in. Or maybe all of that together. Wow, the horses sure like these plants. I wonder what they are. <sighs> it's called wormwood. Animals love it, and the nomadic people say it has medicinal properties. Medicine? Blech. <coughs> maybe you should have some, Marco. I said I'm okay. Besides, we should really keep moving before it gets... <laughs> dark? My wife's famous wormwood tea. Ugh. I know, it tastes awful, but it cures almost any ailment. <coughs> Come, if you feel able. Your friend Luigi is worried about you. He sat up late while you slept last night. Ha! I win again! Marco! Marco, I was so worried I couldn't even eat. Well, except for a little fresh milk, which was really delicious. Though, I wonder where their cows are. <laughs> Relax, Luigi. Tomorrow morning, I'll teach you how to make mare's milk. Mare's milk? As in horses? Mare milk? Oh, yummy. <laughs> Marco, this is my wife, Zara, and these are our children. Welcome, Marco. Did you enjoy your tea? Very much, thank you. Then please have more. <laughs> well, at 
least someone appreciates it. Marco, I apologize for the stampede. My sheep are normally quite gentle. But that loud sound and black smoke startled them. What exactly was that? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Amar, a stranger is approaching. Greeting, fair traveler. Greetings! I am Damis, a merchant. I am separated from the caravan that traveled through here yesterday. I, I had to spend the night alone in the hills. We were in the same caravan, but we had to stop to rest. Oh, oh yes, of course. I, I remember seeing you now. How did you get separated? We were attacked yesterday by thieves with magical <gasps> powers. Thieves? Magical powers? They call themselves the Guardians of the Sun. And they seem to have the power to turn day into night. The black smoke that we saw. They took everything. I barely escaped with my life. Come, my wife Sara will pack some supplies for your journey. My word. These are the finest sheep I've ever laid eyes upon. And their color, mm, most unique. Thank you. I am very proud of my flock. Sheep so fine and rare such as these must be very valuable. To me, they're priceless. My family depends on them. Yes, yes, of course. And, and a fine family you have here. Hmm. Many thanks. I will repay your kindness. Should our paths cross again. We should be on our way to. So soon? But it's so nice and safe here in camp. Nice? Safe? Luigi, my father is waiting for me. We have to go now. Are you sure you're well enough, Marco? Perhaps you should stay one more night. Well, I'm still a little dizzy. What exactly was that? Hyenas on the hunt. Scavengers. To travel in packs. Oh, great. There's more than one. Well, they can be dangerous. But they can also be very cowardly. We scare them off with loud noises and by making ourselves look bigger and more intimidating. Does that really work? Yes. You must always be on the lookout for these pesky brutes. Wow! Shepherding sounds a lot more exciting than I thought. <laughs> Actually, we spend our days traveling in search of the finest, freshest pastures. The sheep need new fields to graze in all the time. Well... I'm spending my night under here. <laughs> I'm glad you're well enough to help me lead my sheep to pasture, Marco. The fresh air will do you good. Yes, me too. This flock has been in my family for generations. The knowledge and responsibility of caring for them has been passed down from parents to children. We depend on the sheep for our very lives. Their milk provides food, and their fleece provides clothing and shelter. In return, we care for them and keep them safe from predators. Like hyenas. <laughs> yes, like hyenas. <laughs> These lush grasses give my sheep their soft, shiny coats and rich golden color. So, what do we do now? Now we watch the flock. Marco, why don't you rest while we count the sheep? Okay, let's see. One, two, three... No, wait. You stay over there. Four, five... And hey, come back here. Wait. Here, sheep. Now this I could get used to. Thirteen, fourteen... Wait. Did I count you twice? 
Marco, he said to rest, not to go to sleep. I can't help it. Counting sheep makes me sleepy. <sighs> that sounds like trouble. One of the little ones has wandered off. It happens. Marco, I'll watch the flock. You and Sheila, see if you can find it. It's coming from over here. I think it's coming from that way. magical bad guys around in the dark? Actually, it's the perfect time. It is? Yeah. They won't see us coming. <gasps> oh, good. They won't see me faint, either. Comfortable, Shepherd. You're going to stay here until we move your flock out of the mountains. But, boss, 
What if he tells anyone about us? Uh, oh. <laughs> I count on him telling everyone about us. So that all will fear the mighty guardians of... <laughs> I can't see a thing out of this stupid mask. Remind me to order some new masks. Yes, sir, Damus. Don't use my real name. What's wrong with you? Damus, it's you. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Is not. But it is, Damus. Uh... Hey, what was that? It came from over there. Oh, got loose, did you? Shoo, go Put him away. back in the pen. These sheep are worth their weight in gold. stuff. I'll bet they stole it, like a mer sheep. Brimstone to make incredible fireworks. Fireworks? Yes. Some say fireworks were discovered by accident when a Chinese cook mixed charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter. The mixture burnt up and exploded. Fireworks are believed to have the power to scare away monsters and ghosts. We set off fireworks for royal festivals and celebrations mixing ingredients to create loud noises, beautiful colors, and thick black smoke. Thick black smoke. So those thieves don't really have magic powers, just magic powder. You got it, Marco. Wanna see how they work? You see how powerless you are? We are the guardians of the sun. Nothing can stop us. I tried to help you, Davis, and this is how you repay me? I take what I want, and I want your sheep! They will bring a very, very good price indeed. And don't call me Damus! But that's your name! It's Damus! Stop saying my name! Yes, Damus! Uh, sir! Uh, boss! Damus? Cut it out! <sighs> now where was I? Something about a good price. Yes, 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 yes. You and everyone in this land will learn to fear the guardians of the sun. Oh, 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 what's going on? Who did that? Who dares impersonate the true guardian of the sun? The true guardian? I have been watching you. Your deeds must be punished! Davis! Don't tell him my name!
Are they gone? Children! So it was Damus all this time. Yes, Damus. I knew he was never in our caravan. Well, we scared them pretty good. I think we've seen the last of Damus and the so-called Guardians of the Sun. Don't be too sure of that. You think you've stopped me? <laughs> I have my supplies. I'll find new men. Nothing will stop the Guardians of the Sun. <laughs> they return to the caravan. Now, we must round up my sheep. <laughs> that explosion really scared them. But they could be anywhere. Yes. We must find the nearest pasture to see if they've wandered off there. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Your friend has the makings of a true shepherd. I don't know about that, but he does have a pocket full of wormwood. <laughs> How can we ever repay you? You already have, with your hospitality and kindness. And the mare's milk to go. Good luck on your search for your father, Marco. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. See you. Good luck. And so, like our new friends who travel in the footsteps of their ancestors, we journey eastward in the footsteps of my own father. And like my father, I am ready for whatever adventure awaits just over the horizon.